Hi, hi, you guys. It's t -Bon. I am at my booth. I'm at American Classics, and I'm going to restock my two booths. It is Wednesday, December the 1st, right? No, Wednesday, November the 30th. <laughs> okay so I needed to get in here so that's what we're gonna do first okay and then I'll take you guys around shopping so so there's my booth my main booth and I have brought in four bins that I worked on while watching some movies the other day got some Taco Bell bean burritos and tacos I bought extra for to leave with the dock boys and then here's my other booth so we're gonna work on that too and there's Sonia <laughs> she's one of the assistants that works here okay so let me get that done and then I'll take you guys shopping okay I did it you know what sales have really been good I talked to Becky and her sales were good too over the weekend and a couple of weekdays so I brought in four bins and it's better than nothing, but man, I still have blank spots. So I'm going to try to hit this again before the weekend. But I did bring in some things that you guys have seen me buy. You might not have seen these. These are Culver. Oh no, George's Briard Christmas. Vintage George's Briard Christmas. Um, only three of them, unfortunately. So all that's Fitz and Floyd here stangle pieces did you guys see that did you guys see this hand painted pine cone thing it's really pretty 2007 but it's really nicely done okay let's see a few things there for christmas didn't sell last year so they were already tagged so that was cool just had to dig them out you guys have seen most of this oh i'm going under the speaker holy smoke <laughs> you guys have seen this but you can see look at all these empty spaces I still have so I'll be back hopefully before Friday these look pretty backlit oh I guess I forgot that brought in the Fenton baskets yeah I I can put in at least a quarter more stuff in this booth alone sold a couple Christmas pieces as I was working the booth brought in that geisha I'm not loving where it's sitting but for now that's where it's gonna have to be because I want to spotlight Christmas so I put it with the Chinese dragon wrap around pottery we're gonna give ice buckets one more go <laughs> didn't sell a single one but I pulled out the black and gold and the green striped one they are vintage but i thought maybe somebody might think about those for the holidays we're going to walk over to my other booth those are here i'll let you guys know how it goes but i did sell the merry mushroom canisters so i'm going to bring in neil the frog i put the starbucks over here they are older. There's a 2009 and a 2010, but they're not vintage yet. Still need a lock and a light for this showcase. And this booth can hold a lot more too. But doing the best I can, juggling everything. But I really don't want this to slide because I am making a little money off of it and it's fun. And I, I'm backing up. I see the potential, you know, to really make a nice size bit of pocket money out of here and it's just fun it allows me to buy more fun things and that's what I really love is shopping and filming right <laughs> so um, have to have places to sell your stuff support your habit there's a picture missing because I put that down there from the other booth so I don't remember what it was but yay something some kind of artwork sold little baby thumb sucker thumb or finger and then I put a Christmas ornament on her the reason this bean pot is here it just doesn't look like much but if you're a Longenberger collector you'll recognize it and it's a Longenberger stoneware bean pot 
So that's why that's here. Okay, let me go get my stuff organized and we'll go shopping a bit. I got my cart and I forgot to tell you guys the best thing of today. Karen, my friend Karen Wilder, when you see her in the chat, that's who it is. Look at this safety pin art Christmas tree. Oh my gosh, I don't know why she treats me so good. We're going to go look at her booth. We're going to go look at her booth and see if maybe I can find some things you guys might want to buy. Now, I do, she did finally tell me what she likes. And I'm, she likes the old English teapots. So now I know what to keep an eye out for to pay her back for all the awesome things that she gets me. This one's awesome. And someone is sending me, a viewer, cyber friend, is sending me two more. Oh my gosh, it, you know, this is one of the pieces of safety pin art that does sell, you guys. <laughs> but thank you, Karen. Love, love, love. So, you know what? Let's go look at her booth first. Yeah, let's go do that. There's my case. Just so you guys know, I did sell one of these for $22. Um, it was $5.99 at the thrift store, and they are new. Chinese imports from Ross but if they're pretty enough you can make a little bit of money I mean I wouldn't want to put it on eBay or anything but here where I don't have to do shipping and worry about it you know make a few bucks to help pay rent well actually more than a few bucks because it sold for 22 so that does work but to me it has to be something cool because you know at Ross or TJ Maxx, at home, etc., etc., Burlington. When they're gone, they're gone. They never know what they're going to get. I found two more La Femme. I want you guys to know. This time I brought them into the booth. You guys have bought all the last ones. Libby La Femme. I don't know if you can see. Very tall. And uh, it has the lady, the nude lady impression around the edge. And so these are $30. I gave you guys better deals, but I do have two more left that um, I was going to try to get, see if I can get full retail for here. But I'm willing to part with them for you all, okay? All right. We're going to go. I'm going to be bypassing some things because I want to go to Karen's first before they close. It's 4 30. But I do want to look at this. Wow. $15. Penny born. It looks... Okay, that's... It's... I'm going to call it studio pottery, but it's... Leaning toward possibly commercialized already. I'm not sure. You know how... Well, like the person for Ray Dunn, you know, eventually got commercialized. The clock booth that I love to do my little TikTok meditation. It's just so cool, and some of you agree. They now have expanded. So if we have time, we might come in and put one of those at the end, a little meditation. Everybody's in the aisle, so I'll just try to keep you guys with me. Every once in a while, we're going to go under a speaker. So that's going to kind of be yucky <laughs> so I'll have to figure out what to do about that oh my gosh Karen I love that tree and I love you this one's 40 this is where I snagged the um help me Vastoria heirloom or Viking I don't know the candlesticks the glow candlesticks for 40 percent off I'm saving them for the glow sale you guys but this is one of those picker porn booths and so I don't really venture in too far and the prices are kind of high they're like old school prices so you do need the 40% off but I might could find some real hardcore kits core hardcore kits core okay yeah I said it <laughs> oh my gosh I love this so how much is that $48 see that's some old school pricing but 40% off but that so cute I don't see anything else real old in there, but that's just cute with the bird on it. Okay, well, if nobody's in the aisle, you guys can stay with me. That's an Arnell mold. 
Karen sold hers, I think for 40. We talked about it and she marked it up. I sold mine for 38. I sold my genuine Sears Mary Mushrooms. I think I told you I'm bringing in the frogs, Neil the Frog, the early edition. Now here's someone that came in earlier this year with Ray Dunn. So what I was gonna say is, I don't mind the market. You know, most of these places advertise now as market places or vendor malls, you know, because, and I like it that way. How much is that? Sorry, hang on a minute, $72, okay. I like it that way because it brings in a variety of shoppers that are out to have fun and not everybody I see an elephant I want to look at you know not everybody cares about vintage they just care about what they like but they might see something of yours vintage even though they didn't know that they liked vintage oh that is beautiful $25 that is gorgeous I think this is Mexican glass, perhaps. It looked not quite Chinese to me, but I could be wrong. I'm gonna call that Mexican. It is prettier than it looks on my camera. It's like a turquoise with that light behind it. These are acrylic, aren't they? Yeah, love stuff like that. I don't know why I'm so fasting with acrylic. I think because that was the affordable stuff when you couldn't afford like high-end glass you could afford the cool um acrylic and loose light stuff that was coming out what in the 60s or 70s so my mom had some of it and i'm fond of it okay here is miss karen's booth located on dick clark boulevard B111, okay? Karen's Corner. If you guys come in town or if you're local, be sure and stop and visit Karen's booth. She's been here for a long time. She's done this for a long time. She doesn't sell online, but she has an open invitation to do a live sale with me anytime she wants. But, you Not know, everybody loves being on YouTube or in front of the camera. <laughs> I'm kind of, you know, I've just been doing this all my life, starting when I was a young girl. I'm putting my glasses on to look at this. That's cute. Starting when I was a young girl in high school with my boyfriend's band. Oh my gosh, I would take pictures with my disc camera. Do you guys remember those? Or my 35. And then you'd have to get them developed. And then you'd make flyers at the print shop. You know, you'd write on it or put sticky. There was no computer thing. Or you'd put those little stick-on letters if you wanted it to look really good. And, uh, you know, I would just help promote and do stuff like that. I've just always loved it. I had t-shirts made for them, things like that. So ever since, I mean, I've been doing this for, that's just in me. I don't know what you call it. My daughter calls it a tension hoe. <laughs> but she was just kidding me. But she did call me that in full letters. <laughs> When she went to watch me go do roller derby when I was, what, 42 years old, she was like, Mom, you're going to get hurt. That's enough. And then she was right. And I went ahead and backed out. I was just going to do Empire for them, but I went ahead and backed out. Just letting you guys look. Because also, I'm talking so much because of the speakers, okay? This is how you guys know so much about my life. <laughs> I'm not trying to brag. I'm just trying to chit-chat. I love this um, and then plus the roller derby when it came back in style it, I was on nostalgic you know Raquel Welch movie and all that the quad skating I was a big skater with the quads but the new style man they want you to wear fishnet stockings and sexy little outfits and they want you to go meet up with the customer base at a local bar the whoever's sponsoring and like drink and stuff you know that's part of how the promoters make money all right so you guys if you see anything let me know if I can't make it back up in a timely manner I can always text or call Karen and she can you know kind of say well this is how much it is and you know you can have it for this much and I handle collecting the money I give it to her and I handle shipping because She's so good to me. 
Hello? See the tree? <laughs> oh, she's got a little Anna Lee. I know some of you guys like that. Let's check out how much she wants for her little Anna Lee. Oh, it's new with tag. $13.95. I'll let you guys read the tag. Some of you will know the date on this by everything. This might be an older one, who knows. There it is. It's in good shape. $13.75. Just let me know. I'll come back up and get it. It would make me happy to sell a few things for her. She's a great lady. You guys might have talked to her in the chat or the comments. Need a light in there, but I want to look at that 80s kitty cat necklace. Oh my gosh. How much is it? I can't see the tag for that. You guys see it? That right there? Usually they're like parrots or things like that. I've never seen a cute kitty cat. I'm going to ask her about that. I hope I didn't go too fast. I think in the Anna Lee is what a lot of you like. Oh, wait a minute, what is that? I think I know what that is. 1995, yep, Ca okay, look, this one. One of you bought the Catherine's collection that I had. Y'all made me get it out during a sale when I told you I had one. Let me come to the light. Here's something else that some of you might like. This is a Catherine's collection and another voluptuous diva queen and she's on a seahorse. Still has the tag. Nine, what was it? Nineteen ninety-nine. That's a good price. Yes, it's nineteen ninety-nine. This one looks like it's about four inches. Okay, you guys. Let me know if you want me to come back up and get that. That's a good price, and it should ship first class. There are some. Is that boxers? They're on a chain. There's three of them. Nineteen ninety. I don't know if she's having a sale right now, but she is very prone to having sales. Oh, and one of you wanted this because I kept it. I kept mine. I'm like, no, I'm gonna go ahead and keep my own. Oh, she's only $14.95. And that looks like the older one with the bake light, you guys. Okay, there's another item you might want me to get. A couple of you sent me messages about mine. And I was like, I think I'm finally going to keep one of these West Bend hot or cold vintage penguins. Look at her tag. Oh my gosh. Karen, you're so awesome. She already got the gift tag on for you. Let me see how much it was again. $14.95. That is a great price, you guys. Okay. Did I do this good enough for you guys? I did okay Karen love you so much I'm gonna stop into our classics cafe it's a vending snack area it's got some cool furniture in it and uh, grab me a coffee or a tea real quick I'm just been drinking rice milk mixed with water so let me get something out of here Here's something for you to laugh at. I don't carry change. But I did. I could only find three quarters. Oh my gosh. I always put my change into a, a jar so it doesn't weigh my purse down. But I did find and squished while I was digging for quarters uh, a boiled egg. I guess I popped in my purse. I kind of remember doing that now this morning just in case I got hungry. But instead I stopped at Del Taco to get something for everybody I might wash that off and eat the other half of it <laughs> but no coffee for me I think I've told you guys before there's like these little rooms where the cafe is along the side these little like I guess they were offices or whatever this one I like to come into she had a swan I wanted and I don't see it anymore but she has another one that I love the one I was wanting was uh, made out of Savorsky crystals 
This one's only 14. And I think I like that better with the silver. Anyways, I've bought jewelry from her. I found her at the flea market. And she was sorting through jewelry. And I bought some from her and she gave me good prices. So those jewelry jars are 45. The bags are 35. Quart size bags. And then she's got a bunch hanging up. And her prices are usually good. It's costume jewelry. But I found some good pieces in here. Well, those are kind of like Betsy Johnson. Oops. These are kind of like Betsy Johnson. You get some light on it. Eight dollars. Is that an Avon? Hang on. <laughs> Is that an Avon deer? Reindeer? I don't have that critter. Well, is it $10 or $5? I'll have to ask her about that. I kind of like to have that for my critter collection. Speaking of, Avon, John and Heidi up in Denver are out thrifting, having a good time. And um, they just texted me, showed me an Avon Christmas tree. And I said, well, sure, why not? They're picking it up for me. It was a good price, still new new old stock and I thought well for Christmas time put some of my critters around it so they're picking that up for me hey what is that okay it's just costume jewelry but it looks a little better quality it actually looks vintage there's little pearls at the end too kind of teal stones five dollars yeah, I'm going to buy myself something. Heck yeah. Y'all know I love that. I'm going to buy that for me. Sorry, I'm going to turn around and come back in person just to make sure we don't miss something. Sombreros. See, this is where I got a card that had two earrings on it and I wanted the hoops. Now, some of these have three and um so i the the bottom ones were millifori millifiori hearts i sold them the last sale i knew someone was gonna love that i think i paid like three or five dollars five okay they're five that has three of them on there yeah this is fun if you like costume jewelry please find this booth it's one of the rooms down from the cafe vending area okay you'll probably find something you like oh those are pretty cat's eyeballs and then kind of vintagey looking on the bottom straight up 80s could have even been handmade. They're clip-ons too. I wanna let me where can I hang these? I wanna look at that necklace. That looks vintage. Six dollars. That's six dollars, you guys. It is vintage. Yeah, don't miss this booth if you like costume jewelry. You guys look at some other stuff. I'm trying to remember to back up too. Personally, I want to see details, you know, and I want to know prices, <laughs> but I can do both. Some glass fruit over here. Let's check prices. Those sell pretty well. Six dollars, seven dollars for the corn. So there's some glass fruit it's kind of affordable prices to you guys six and seven dollars just let me know all right let's head back out i think the next visit this lady that has a ton of booths see how many and they seem to be organizing and 75 percent off original price but she has a lot of locked cases there and just everywhere i think i'm gonna make a trip and do nothing but go through all these cases because I know there's stuff in there and it is priced old school but it's 75% off 
And if I take my time and maybe look a few things up, the worst case scenario is I'll learn some more. That will be an all day thing, but I think I want to try to do that. Sometimes I've found some cool things in here. A <laughs> Betty Boop. That is so cute. $4.99. It's probably not vintage enough for Kate, but again, when were VWs made? Starting the 60s? I wonder if she would like that though. It's cute. I'd make a nice little thank you gift because she is going to come back. What is that? Oh my gosh. $21.99. Okay, let me put my readers on. Let's look this over. It's not in the best shape. No, it's not. Darn it, I still kind of want it. Yeah. That's probably a fair price though for the condition. If it was in great shape, it'd be worth a lot more than that. Can I live with that if it's just for myself? Oh my gosh. That is so cute. I'm going to keep my eye on that. Darn it. I kind of want to get that. $21.99. What do you guys think about the condition? Precious moments. China glass back there. Some kind of moonstone. Eleven ninety nine bird dish. Oh, peacock. Well, that's cute. Twelve ninety nine. Napkin holder. Ruffled, folded over. Probably, this might be like art studio piece. I kind of like that too. This should be sitting up higher. That's pretty. Hmm. <laughs> Hi cuties. Let's see how much you are. $19.99. Who imported you? Oh, these are left in. For the pair. $20 for the pair, you guys. Let's see might have time to peek at one more. There's the inside of her booth. We looked at the cases. Yeah, I'm going to make a day and we're just going to go through all her 75% off booths. I'm going to try to do that as soon as possible. I don't know. I've got so much on my plate with the holidays and then family stuff. Still trying to, you know, wrap my head around cleaning out Pop's room. I do a little bit at a time. I hope I can get it ready for Christmas. Whoa, that is a large bass, I believe. <laughs> or is that a salmon? I don't know, decoupaged or not decoupaged. I can't think of the word now. You all vendors, we do not run reports at this time. And if you're planning on leaving the building with any of our merchandise or supplies, you will need to exit through the warehouse doors now. <laughs> I gotta go you guys here's Becky's booth though we'll look at it next time she was just in yesterday and she's got it packed up of Christmas goodies but we'll have to check it out next time okay because you heard it last call I mean here's the mirror that I said hi in so I'll use it to say goodbye this is my neighbor I told you guys that look what she did okay I hope you had a little bit of fun and I'll see you on the next video bye bye